Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Marketo Fu. Uh, my name is Joe Wrights, and today uh, what I want to discuss is just how to import a list into Marketo. So uh, this one will be a real quick, but there's a few gotchas that uh, are easy to overlook. So you want to make sure that um, the thing that I see happen most commonly is one person on a team or two people on a team will know the process really well. We'll never mess it up. Uh, it's when you have to you have to have someone that's not as uh, familiar with Marketo, uh, that things can be left um, a little bit uh, not, not ideal. Let me turn off my notifications here. So the joys of live YouTubing. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna share my screen. Cool, so uh, like any, um, any list import obviously starts with a list. So I have Excel up right now, and you, you'd have any number of columns. But the example I'm going to walk you guys through today is uh, probably a pretty common one. Say you get done with a trade show, and now you need to upload those leads back into Marketo and uh, and mark their program status and all that. So what you would do is you know any of your visible columns that you'd have. So you know first name, last name, email address is definitely one you need. Uh, phone number, address, city, state, whatever. Uh, an important one to watch out for is always add a lead source to your um, your list uploads. And you may also have uh, a few other custom fields that are unique to your business. Uh, for example, I, I'm working with a uh, uh, one of my clients now who's B2C, and one of their fields is preferred store location. And if we have that data, great. If it's if you know, say we don't have the data for some, but we do for others, uh, it's still fine to upload. It'll upload a null value for the ones that we don't know. Um, but it's just a good practice to be in. The more data you can upload that's useful, I mean, go ahead and add columns. So when uh, when Fathom actually, when we would give somebody, when we work with our clients and give them a, a list upload template, ours would look something like this, where, um, you know, Email address, oops, I meant green. Email address is absolutely essential. These purples are nice to have. Uh, this would be essential. And then there would be a couple other, um, you know, probably what I would call nice to haves or uh, depending on how lead routing works, for example, uh, you, you might find postal code. It really depends on how your sales force is set up. I've been, I've seen a number of instances where uh, the postal code controls the, uh, the lead assignment or or it could be state or whatever so you want to make sure that at a minimum uh you know what our what, our, what we try to do is make sure that everybody knows and there'd be like a key somewhere on the spreadsheet that says you know if green it means it's essential like don't upload the lead if it doesn't have this field if it's purple they don't need to have it if it's you know when typically we'd probably actually use uh green yellow red just because that makes more sense to most people but anyway, uh, now that you have your list, what you would simply do is save as, and then it's always, always, always going to be a CSV. So I'm going to back up, save this as a comma separated value CSV. Uh, file name doesn't matter so much. And then that's just to my desktop. And then back on the Marketo side, uh, you see I've created in this program a static list for this show. So all I'd simply do is right click it and then select import list. And then I just run through the uh, the process of, okay, I select my workbook, check. Uh, for some reason, it, it, Marketo has an auto-detect. For some reason, all the training I've ever had uh, always said just select comma-separated values. It just makes Marketo think less, uh, which I guess is a good thing. And then just hit next. And then you go through, and uh, if... if you know, so I think those are the three three columns that I added a header to that didn't have anything in them. So it's going to ignore them. And then you can confirm how these are mapping to your field. So I think I named all these correctly uh, as far as the fields were named in our sandbox instance. Uh, you might find that you might have like zip code on your spreadsheet, but you, you can map it to postal code or vice versa, depending on how the field is in your Marketo. Uh, I think postal code is the default though. And then so once, once you verify these are all okay uh, and You'll you'll be able to see here if you're uh, if you're blocking field updates to any of any of the uh, the Marketo fields, but uh, we're not here. So then once this is all good, you just click next, and you can send an alert to somebody if uh, if that's useful. Like let them just letting them know the list is uploaded could be uh, like your director or um, you know a salesperson maybe. Uh, but 
totally optional. The thing that's more essential is you have to select an acquisition program. And this is only going to apply to net new leads, but we'd want to make sure that this is the same acquisition program we're uploading the list to. Reason being, uh, as we start to talk in the future, you've heard me mention a few times and allude to that we're going to talk about attribution and how all that works on the Marketo end. Um, Acquisition program is how first touch is really what drives first touch attribution. So if you select the program here, this little note here saying for net new leads only, if the acquisition program is empty, it's going to make sure that this new program we're about to import to is the uh, the acquiring program. So that would get all the first touch credit. Uh, so then you just click import and your list would run. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But uh, that's that's essentially it. It's a very quick, easy thing to do. Um, it doesn't take a lot of uh, effort or training. Just the one, the one gotcha is just completely around that piece of you know have your lead source, have any custom columns like your preferred store location or product interest or whatever, whatever, whatever helps your database get more information about your leads. Whatever data you're able to capture about your leads, uh, you want to make sure that that's on that list when you upload it and then mapped to the correct field through the import process. But uh, once again, I have been Joe Wrights. This is Marketo Fu, and uh, look forward to talking to you guys again soon.